Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the interaction between the CEREC software and CEREC CAM software in cases of temporary crowns. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the workflow from the export of restorations from the CEREC software and the import into the CEREC CAM software, and the process in the CAM software right up to the manufacturing process. We are in the design phase. And here you can already see the final anterior tooth restorations that will be placed as temporary crowns. By clicking on the double arrow, we switch to the last phase, the manufacture phase. Since we want to mill the five temporary crowns from a CAD temp block, we export all restorations into our CEREC CAM software. To do this, the option Export to CEREC CAM must be selected in the window under Manufacture. Then we click Start. Please make sure that the folder into which the CEREC software exports the data matches the folder in the CEREC CAM software from which the data is imported. These settings can be checked in the respective system menu. For instructions on how to do this, please see our video tutorial titled Zirconium Bridge Restoration, a case for our CEREC CAM software. In the manufacture phase, only one restoration is marked. Therefore, the CEREC software asks whether all restorations from the milling preview should be exported into the CEREC CAM software. We confirm by clicking Yes, and subsequently receive a confirmation that all restorations have been exported successfully. Next, we switch to the CEREC CAM software. To begin with, we set up a new job on the Start page. In the window under Job Details, we define a new job name, in our case, CAD Temp. After this has been done, we are in the first phase, and the Step menu appears at the bottom edge of the screen. As a rule, the most recently imported restorations are displayed at the very top of the list. All five crowns are listed as individual elements. Here you can select which restorations should be displayed by clicking the drop-down menu. Currently, all of our imported orders so far are displayed, and we can reduce the list of restorations by clicking one of the displayed options. We keep the option All, and mark all restorations that are a part of our order by adding check marks. Then we switch to the next step, Select Blank. This step displays all blanks that were already saved in the software. First of all, we will add a new blank. We define the manufacturer, select the material, and the production type, select the color of the material, and enter the lot number of the blank. Then we save our entries and switch to the next phase. In the phase Arrange, we can reposition the restorations inside the block with the help of the tools. We can choose to reposition each individual restoration horizontally or vertically or rotate it. To illustrate this, we will now briefly demonstrate all three options. Any technically unfeasible position inside the block is indicated in red. Next, we switch to the final step to position the sprue locations. The CEREC CAM software defines the number and location of sprues, based on stability criteria. This step also has different tools available. You can add, delete, and move sprue locations. The previous positioning of the restorations in the block affects the locations of the sprues. Since we want to avoid placing a sprue on a proximal contact or on the incisal edge, 
we start with the option Delete and remove those sprues. We activate the Add tool and determine new sprue locations. If needed, we can also move the starting position of the sprue. To do so, move the cursor to one of the sprues and a small orange ball is displayed. By keeping the left mouse button pressed and moving the mouse at the same time, the position can be changed. By clicking the double arrow, we come to the third and last phase of the Serec Cam software, the Produce phase. In the 3D preview, all sprues have now been reduced as specified in the parameter settings. In this phase, we can finally define different production options, such as the level of detail and the machining mode. We move our cursor to one of the restorations, and by clicking the left mouse button, we can activate the crown. Depending on the material we selected before, we can choose from different production options. Since we want to select the same option for all crowns, we first of all activate all restorations inside the block. To do this, keep the Shift key of your keyboard pressed and click the Next Restoration. Now that all crowns have been activated, we first select the Detail Level and then the Machining Mode. Since those are temporary crowns, we pick a low level of detail and the Fast Machining Mode. The restorations are now color-coded accordingly, and we start the manufacture process by clicking Start Production. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serec.